I'm hauling again today because it seems like that's all I have time to do nowadays. <laughs> They're like the easiest uh, videos for me to film. And Ulta recently sent out a 20% off coupon, so I purchased some stuff online from there. And then, then again, just a few things here and there. I did purchase a few things from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I spaced these out in my last haul video, but um, Charlotte Tilbury had a little set. It's the Filmstar Bronze and Blush Glow. And the set comes with a mini blush brush, which um, the bristles are synthetic and they're quite soft, but the brushes got a pretty small handle. Not a bad brush though. And then the compact comes in the same style packaging as her Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And this guy here comes with a blush shade that is 0.35 ounces and a bronzer shade that is 0.45 ounces. Um, this bronzer here is lighter than the one in the original Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Um, it's, it's an okay shade. I wasn't crazy about it. The blush is a pretty shade, however. So that is what they look like. I do like that the bronzer does pull a little bit cooler in tone, but it is pretty light. And then I'm going to go ahead and compare the blush to the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in Love is the Drug. I found that this was kind of the most similar uh, shade to that guy. I was swatching other things earlier. <laughs> I need to wipe that off. But there's Love is the Drug, which has got a little bit more shimmer to it. And there's the one from the Compact. And then let me grab the original Filmstar Bronze and Glow to swatch the bronzer. So here's the bronzer from the original, which is darker than the one that's in the newer one. So there's the original and then there's the duo from the new one. And then I just had to purchase the full size of the Benefit California blush because I just love it so much. Um, the, the one in the palette is what I had been using and then I purchased the mini size and they're not the same formula or the same color. Um, so I wanted to just be able to grab this easier than uh, using like grabbing the bigger palette um, because I do use it a lot. So I just went ahead and purchased the full size. So this is like my third California product. <laughs> but this is a gel eye formula. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it uh, quite a few times now, but I just love this blush. It's such a flattering color. It has that baked jelly type of uh, finish to it, so it sits on the skin really pretty. Um, I just love this blush, so I'm glad that I purchased it in the the full size version and I use it a ton. Also from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, I finally got the Bord de Plage uh, Highlighting and Bronzing Palette from NARS. This is what the front looks like. And that is what it is called. This guy here has two of the new bronzers that they came out with, two shades of it, the Laguna and the Casino. That is that, again, that Gelée formula. Um, I've used both of the bronzers in here and I do really like the consistency and the feel of them on the skin. But this is what this guy looks like. So here you've got your Laguna. And again, this is that newer bronzer formula from NARS. So here's Laguna and Casino. And then over here you've got two mid-tone highlights and two lighter highlights. Both of these two highlighter shades, which is Rivage up here in Corinche. Corinche? I turned upside down. Corniche. <laughs> Corniche, I think that's how you pronounce it right here. Both of those are light enough for my skin tone. I have kind of played around with them with the tones using these middle tone shades um, as well, and they look pretty with the bronzer shades. I think this is quite a nice palette. The middle highlighter shades are Creek, Criquet, and Galet. Let's go with that. Criquet and Galet. <laughs> but um, I do, I've really been enjoying this, this palette here from NARS. Again, everything in here is that that baked gelée formula that I, formula that I just love. Love this highlighter. If this came out in a full size um, from NARS, I would definitely purchase it. So those are the top three shades, and then here are the bottom three. So those are the shades in the Bord de Plage palette from NARS. Very pretty products. And then I did find that other Dior lipstick that I was talking about in my last haul video that I couldn't find. And it's uh, Dior Attic Lipstick 451 Tribal or Tribale. And this is the one with the CD uh, in the middle or the core of the lipstick. And it's a really pretty coral shade, not like super opaque, but it has a really nice glossy finish to it. And that is 451 
um, Tribale. I really like the formula of these lipsticks. Sephora also came out with a couple more shades in their Rouge Gel Lip Liner formula. So I purchased number 33, which I've actually been using quite a bit. I like to line my lips um, with it and use like fill it in with a lipstick, but I also like to use it kind of by itself um, all over the lips. The formula is really nice. It doesn't kind of it doesn't set to a real long wearing formula, but it stays decent, but it stays glossy as well. So it's very interesting. So this is number 33, and I've actually worn this lips this lip liner right here with this lipstick. It's a really pretty color. So that's a 33, and this is the Sephora brand uh, Rouge Gel Lip Liner right there. And the other shade I purchased is number 21 called uh, Loose Talk. Again, the same formula. This is just a super pretty light lilac shade. Um, this is pretty as a lip liner with like a lighter pinky lilac lipstick, but it's also pretty all by itself all over the lips. So that is number 21. Sticking with the lip liners here, um, I did purchase two Dior lip liners, and I think that they released a couple new shades. Um, this is number 593 Brown Fig, although that sounds really familiar. Maybe it's a new formula. Anyway, this is uh, 593 Brown Fig, and I do really like Dior lip liners. These are longer wearing than the Sephora ones that I just showed you, but this is a nice nude lip liner. And then the other one that I got, which I was kind of iffy about because it has shimmer in it, and I kind of prefer my lip liners to, to have a matte type of finish or one without sparkle in it, um, but I liked the tone of it really well, so I purchased it anyway. This is 573, and it's called Airy Mauve. I don't think this is a new shade, but it's just a really pretty mauve color. It could have done without like the, the sparkle in it, but the tone is just really pretty. So those are the Dior... Uh, lip liner pencils in Airy Mauve and Brown Fig. And then Kat Von D released some new brushes, which I do like her uh, brush line. They are synthetic bristle brushes that are super soft. Um, this first one is number five, and she released this to use with her cream contour palette. I used it the other day with a liquid foundation, and it worked really well for that. It's quite dense. Um, it's got a like a pointed triangular tip to it and I ordered this off of the Kat Von D website because they wanted I, I could have got it off the Sephora website but I wanted the mirror that Kat Von D came out with and I wanted to get free shipping so I thought well I'll just order one of the brushes from the website with the mirror and then I'll show you the other two brushes in a minute but this is what the mirror looks like it's a handheld mirror I won't turn it around to like blind you guys but it's like her seal stamp like a wax seal that you put on a letter. It was only 18 bucks and I, I'm a big like Kat Von D fan. Um, there are stars on the mirror on the other side right there if you can see them on the side. Um, I do wish that there was like a little deal that I could like hang the mirror with on um, from the end but uh, I just because I'm a big Kat Von D like collector type person <laughs> um, I, I thought I had to have this. But the other two brushes that she came out with are a highlighter brush and then uh, also like a contour brush I think this is what it's called. But this is number two and it is an angled brush and I like to use these angled type brushes. Um, I use them upside down like this to kind of carve out the cheekbones when I do use a brush that looks like this. It's like the um, longer ended bristles if they're on the bottom it kind of prevents any product from going lower than the like the area that you're trying to contour. I know that if you use like a rounded one you're more apt to get some product lower under the cheek like lower than you actually want it so try an angled brush upside down like this it really helps to carve out the cheekbones but anyway this is the number two brush right here and I have used that quite a few times and then the other brush is the number four brush right here again super soft synthetics and this one is intended I think to be a highlighter brush and then real quick to compare them to her shade and light double ended brush that came out a while ago um, it's kind of like this brush but with handles so you've got, this is a little bit skinnier and a little bit more pointed than the shade and light. And then here is the contour side, which is a little bit uh, bigger and bushier, but is kind of the same uh, concept there. So this is your number four brush, your number two, and then here's the shade and light. And then I also purchased two highlighters from LA Girl. They're the Strobe Light Strobing Powders. And I got one 10 watt and one 20 watt. And these highlighters, I'm wearing one 20 watt on the tops of my cheekbones today and then like the highlighted points. Um, but these highlighters, they they give that glow that I wish the, uh, what were those, the um, Jeffree Star, what are those called? 
skin frosts they remind me of like that frosted skin but these have a much better finish and texture to them than the the uh jeffree star skin frost one i think these are like a cheaper nicer formulated version of those and i really like them and they're super affordable if you don't like that really intense highlighter and sparkle on your cheekbones though this is a product that you probably won't like there are some micro glitters that i can notice in the 120 watt i don't notice them as bad in the 110 watt so let me go ahead and swatch these so this is the packaging Ellie girl strobe and then this is 110 watt these come with 0.19 ounces of product right here this one has got an ever so slight uh, more champagne shimmer to it than the 120 which is more like a stark white and then here is 120 watt right there and this is the one that I'm wearing today but I really like these highlighters I think they're super affordable Again, if you don't like super intense, these ones aren't for you, but um, I think they were four, or maybe they were five bucks, I think, is what I paid for them. And then I had the 20% off coupon, but um, really liking these highlighters from LA Girl for that really intense glow. Then I also purchased one of the new NYX Away We Glow Illuminating Powders. Um, I swatched this in the store and it just looked like a really pretty glowy blush when it was all mixed together. So I got Crushed Rose and this is what it looks like right here. And when I use it, I just swirl them all together and put it on my cheeks as a blush. And it's just a really, really pretty uh, blush shade on my skin tone. They had, they had quite a few shades, like six of them. And there were some really uh, pretty darker shades as well. But that one is Crushed Rose, and that is from NYX or NYX. I did purchase um, six more of the Makeup Forever face powders that they came out with. Um, they're one of those deals where you buy two or three and then with the compact and then they discount them as opposed to buying them individually type of situation. So I purchased uh, six more of these powders, so I have two more trios. So I'll start off with the two highlighter shades that I got, and one is H100. And this is like a, a satin matte Finish. I kind of thought it was going to be sparkly, but it's not. And it's one of those kind of powders that I can definitely use to brighten up other like highlighters. Um, it definitely will lift those areas of your face that you put it on, that's for sure. Um, but it doesn't have a bunch of shimmer in it. It's more like a satin matte finish. So that is H100. And then the other one is B200. I think they kind of had this in the blush section, but this is a, a pink toned highlighter for me. This is like a really finely milled satin shimmer shade with a pink undertone to it. Again, this one, both of these powders will brighten and lift the face, um, so they're definitely good for sculpting. The uh, H or the B200 just has a more pink undertone to it and is a little bit more shiny than the H100. And then I got the blush shade in B110, which is a very pale corally orange shade. And this is a matte color. Matte. <laughs> I sound like I said MAC. And then the other shade, which oh, this this color pink is so beautiful. This is a matte as well. This is B204. Just a really, really pretty baby pink color. This is one of my favorite uh, ones out of all the ones that I've uh, purchased here. But super, super gorgeous baby pink. So that's B204. And then the other two shades are both corally shades. This first one is also a matte. It's B206. And it's a coral with a slight pinkiness to it. I, I can tell a theme here. I obviously like the really light pastel -y type of shades. <laughs> um, and then the other one has got a bit of a sheen to it. And this is B306. And this is a t kind of a tangerine coral right there. What I would like to do, so that is B306 right there, because I really like these face powders. If I could ever get my hands on like that that really large Makeup Forever palette, that tin one, I would love to fill that with a whole bunch of these face powders because they're really nice and they make like when you have a, such a selection like that, it's just really easy to like mix and match and blend colors together. Totally random. I'm just looking at these swatches and for some reason like the color tones of these just just make me really happy. <laughs> It's the little things, <laughs> but those are the new Makeup Forever uh, face powders. I, I do want to get, 
I would like to fill a large Makeup Forever palette with these. And then lastly, I've got two eyeshadow palettes. This first one is the Lorac Unzipped Desert Sunset palette. And initially, because I had that 20% off Ulta code, I had all three, or is it four? There's three. I think there's three total of these new unzipped palettes from Lorac. I had all three of them in my cart, and I was like, well, I'm not that depending on like the older, the first uh, unzipped one and two palettes, I got along quite well with those, but the pro palettes, I, I don't. So I wasn't sure kind of what to expect. I was thinking they'd be closer to the unzipped formula, but the mattes in here, I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm not crazy about them. They kind of, um, let me open it up. First of all, they're in, it's in cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure. And then it's got these indentations right here. So like the cover bends, I'm not quite sure what the, the, what the point is. I mean, it's a interesting design anyway. And then the, here are the shades in here. There's some really pretty burgundy colors. Like I've got this one on my lid today. And then I used um, the Joshua Tree Sandstorm and Dunes, which are mattes, kind of through my crease and cirrus underneath the brow. And when I got into the mattes, man, I, it took me back to that uh, Lorac Pro 2 palette video that I did years ago, where I just, I was riding the struggle bus, man. Like the mattes just don't blend. <laughs> so I have this palette on my eyes today, but I can't necessarily say it's all this palette because I did go in with my Vizart um, Warm palette, this one right here, the Warm Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I brought in this guy after I just couldn't get this the area to look blended, um, and that kind of fixed it a little bit. I can still see where it's not it blended as nicely as I would like it, but I did go over this with the Vizart palette to make it look nicer. And then I also put Stila Glitter on the lid, um, kind of over, over the burgundy shade. And the burgundy shade was quite pretty. I kind of had to stab my brush in it to pick up the pigment, but um, when I use that uh, Queen of Hearts palette by Colored Rain, it's so intense and shiny and the, the finish is so rich. So when I went to something like this, well, it was a pr it's a pretty, like, red shade it just it was a little lackluster for me I guess but I'm not crazy about this I'm gonna swatch it for you guys anyway because some of you guys do do get on with the Lorac Pro uh, formula so you might end up liking liking it but um, again the shimmers worked better for me but when I brought in those mattes it was just kind of a no blending mess is what it kind of turned into but this purple this is the burgundy that I used. So it's four. I don't know, like some eyeshadows that have been coming out lately are just so spot on awesome that it makes it harder for me to, I don't know, put up with other eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> So that is the Lorac Desert Sunset palette. Again, I can foresee people who like the Lorac Pro formula and the mattes and those liking this guy, but um, I was looking for a little bit more richness and intensity, I guess, and then also some mattes that blend. <laughs> so enough about that. And then the last palette is the Pure My Little Pony, the movie eyeshadow palette. And I love My Little Ponies. Like, that's one of the reasons I had to have it. It was at least like My Little Pony, but, but they kind of for me at least, maybe it's because I'm older, <laughs> uh, they kind of ruined My Little Ponies when they made them have those big like bug eyeballs as opposed to like the old school ones where they were more like pony-like I guess, where the newer ones kind of look more cartoonish. <laughs> but I still had to have it because I was like, it's My Little Pony and I was seeing like pictures all over Instagram and stuff. So um, I had a coupon code and I purchased it off of the Pure website. But um, inside there is a mirror. This is a cardboard packaging and then there's this little layover um, with a little My Little Pony in it right there. See, he's got the big eyeballs. And then inside here are your 16 eyeshadows. I did wear this, uh, I wore it twice, and I, th I got decent looks out of it, but I really had to jab my brush into quite a few shades to get the pigment to pick up on my brush. It's not an easy palette to work with by any means. I had to keep going into the eyeshadows to pick up the product. And again, I had to use a stiffer brush and also grind that stiffer brush into the eyeshadows to pick up the product. Um, but uh, the looks did come out pretty after the fact. It's just not the easiest palette in the world to use. So, I, and I'm pressing pretty hard on these swatches as well. So there's the first four. Who else wishes that um, 
My Little Pony still had the old school, like, eyeballs and not like the big cartoony eyeballs. Is it just me? <laughs> the second row. I didn't use that fuchsia pink yet and that kind of come off pretty strong. So that one swatch is pretty darn good. That is a matte too. Matte eyeshadows, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven matte eyeshadows. This kindness one has a little bit of a sparkle to it, but it's like a matte base. We'll do this row. It's almost like, I don't know, they're not quite so finely milled and they're pressed really hard. The shadows, again, I'm like really kind of digging my fingers into there, but. And then this last row. That red is really pretty. So that is the Pure Cosmetics and uh, My Little Pony eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to end the haul there. I know you guys keep asking for a collection video and my goal, this is my goal that I'm setting for myself, is to get that filmed before Halloween. I know it seems like it's a really long ways away, but the way time is going nowadays, it's really not that far away. <laughs> um, I, I've got to go outside. I've got people coming to look at horses and i got horses to ride and I need to plow the arena and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.